I think the energy of London is addictive. Hi, I'm Maureen. Welcome to London. Welcome to my house. You're going to see my London today. Follow me. And I'm the business citizen of London. I run the talent agency, MT Art Agency, whose HQ is in London. And I love London. I love cycling and walking around it. I love the people that I meet here. I love the art that I see everywhere here. Um, it's one of my favorite cities. I'm super lucky to do what I love. So as you can see, my house is filled with art. Um, and when you do what you love, in, in a weird way, it's not work. So this work here is the one of Aziko, who is a Nigerian artist who absolutely adore. Um, I, I love that it's in the center of the lunch because he praises motherhood and, and the strength that comes with it. And then this one is by the artist Adelaide Debema. She literally just dances onto the canvas as she writes her stories. Um, we specifically um, had to stretch it on site because as you can imagine, it's quite a large work, so quite a difficult one to, um, to install with that. I have a dinner party this evening, so I'm going to quickly dash, show you around the office and you meet some of the team, and also show you where I take my clients, which is all the public art projects that I adore in London. Let's go. MTR Art Agency started seven years ago. We were thinking, you know, artists are looked at purely for their works, but actually artists have the most incredible visions. There's so many ways to work with them, from putting them on brand campaigns, putting them to inspire cities. Um, fast forward to seven years, it's quite surreal. We're in London, Paris, Monaco, Doha, and opening LA, and I feel incredibly grateful. I think the joy of it is that um, the most incredible artists have accepted to join the agency. This is the artwork of Lise West. She's British-based, and she's obsessed with color theory and how to use it to make people happy. I think the energy of London is addictive because it is ultimately a pace of incredibly smart, dynamic, intellectually curious people that all get to collaborate together all throughout the day. Um, this is the work of the artist Robert Montgomery. Uh, Robert Montgomery is an established visual poet. So when we signed him two years ago, it was a total dream. There's a funny story about this piece is that I loved it so much that the wall was slightly too small, so he accepted to move the comma that is right on that side to make sure it fit was in the wall I so wanted to have the piece in. And so we're not used to visual poetry. I think words tend to like pass on digital screens and books. So it's so nice to have words taking the full space and just saying, please think of me as a reflection in a big way. And I, I love that he's doing this with his poetry. I love going around London on the bicycle or using black cabs like this, because you just literally see the entire London unravel as you, are, as you are in the cab, which is really nice. We are going to see a series of public art projects that I love. So we'll pass by Regent Street. Um, and then some of the some of our artists basically reinvent the city with the art, and that's a big part of what I love doing every day. Like I said, I love the drama. We are literally in the heart of London. You're about to cross Oxford Street, so you can't be more in the heart of it. And the idea here was like all the creators affected by the pandemic, we wanted to kind of make an homage to them or tribute. And so you see them like healing from the pandemic with all the band-aids that are like attached to their bodies. We're here in St. James's, which is literally next door to Buckingham Palace for the ones who don't live in London. Um, this is one of the many public spaces that we manage and help reinvent. What I love about public arts is that championing it as a city means that everyone can just see it. Um, there's no exclusivity, it's completely inclusive and it's um, accessible for everyone as well. It's literally so magical to think that like the art that you love, the artists that you love, get to be in the centre of the city that you love so much, which here is London. Well, thank you so much for following me all around London. I hope you found it super inspiring. I hope you like the art that you got to see. And I hope that next time you kind of walk around it, you recognise it and hopefully be inspired by it. See you later.